All right, today we're going to just do a simple rigging of an image, an AI image uh, that I made in Korea. And we're going to just set up a rig for it and kind of do a little bit of animation. Um, so what we're going to do here is, first of all, if you don't already have it, um, look up uh, here. We're, what we're going to be using is called, oh, shoot, what is it? Images Planes. And uh, it's an add-on. And I'll be completely honest with you. I'm not 100% sure where I got it. It's been so long since I've had it. So just Google Images Planes for Blender. You should be able to find that add-on and then enable it. So we imported our Images Plane. And if we go in here, we'll be able to see her. And now a couple things is usually when I do these images, I do them without the clothing because then I go into Daz Studio and I do a canvas render uh, and then I can just do all the different outfits and just basically put them right on the character. Uh, not only that, but I've found that getting consistent characters uh, is much easier than getting consistent clothing. So to do this route, we can literally um, get the same character every single time. For the most part and then just use the canvas render in das studio to do the clothing and then therefore have that be consistent too um so we're gonna do here first of all uh, i wish i if somebody out there knows how to do this i hate the fact that i every single time i have to take the specular and the roughness down i usually the screen tint too i'm not sure entirely if that works but it'd be nice to have those images come in there just like that um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into render color management, and we're going to put that on standard, which I think just gives us a better image of it. All right. So here's the key thing. Uh, a couple key things. Uh, I just redundantly use the word key. Um, we need to make sure is that we have some separation, uh, in the, in what's going to be the mesh. Uh, between like the the arms and the torso so we're going to be able to separate those we got the separation in here in the um, between the armpits and stuff like that between the arms and the torso uh, separation between the um, legs and stuff like that and that's going to make things a lot easier um, so we're going to go into modeling and we're going to do subdivide we're going to do 100 cuts And then we're going to go into edit mode. And then this is where we're going to just make everything easier by getting rid of some geometry. So we'll just take and delete some of this. This really works too to eliminate some of the vertices and it should make things just uh, run just a little bit better. Um, so here we'll get in there, we'll delete, uh, then we'll go into the select box and select circle. So this will make things easier here. Now this is going to be important because what this is going to do is it's going to help when we do the automatic weights, uh, to make sure those weights are, you know, appropriate. And then make sure that we don't have a, an arm bone, you know, controlling the, you know, buttocks and stuff like that. Um, now, another thing we're going to have to do to kind of get in here and delete some stuff, we're going to have to go and subdivide, subdivide. And then we can get in here real close. Delete, that'll give us just a little bit more. Probably, let's do this. Let's subdivide in here a little bit more. Okay, so this should allow us, this is where it gets, we have to get kind of precise. So what we don't want to do is we don't want to delete any of the image. Uh, 
and we want to give a nice guide to the automatic weights. So let's let's do this a little bit better. Let's use the select box. Subdivide, subdivide. Okay, now we can use select circle. And we're probably still going to have to adjust some of the weights. Um, I can definitely see that the arm is going to have a little bit too much control over here. Uh, let's see. Let's... Now, if we were going to be doing some um, shape keys too, which we're not going to be doing in this tutorial, uh, we would probably add a lot more geometry to like the face and stuff like that, but we're not worried about that. See, yep, all the hair is there. And this doesn't have to be exact. I mean, literally, the reason why we're doing this, first of all, it's going to be easier when we're um, adjusting weight paints to be able to see where, like, the head is, stuff like that. So that's one of the reasons why we're doing this. So it doesn't have to be exact. Um, we're just going to want clear, defined separation between the different body parts that we're going to add bones to all right let's get rid of some of this stuff delete we want to bring this all the way down all right let's i think we might be we're we gonna be good enough there let's do this Subdivide, subdivide. I think, let's get rid of that, just random vertices and right there. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm uh, trying to become too much of a perfectionist, so we'll stop in that, should we? You know what? Okay, uh, I don't want to be a perfectionist, but let's do one last thing here. Let's be able to animate, the, or at least give ourselves the option of animating the ears. So we'll get a little more geometry there. That way we can vertices and that's already separate okay so we're done with that part of it um okay so what i did there is i just made sure i saved it um yeah so we've got a pretty good model here we've got pretty good mesh on it at least i'm happy with it um next thing we're gonna want to do hold on a second do we got okay so All right, it's showing, you can see that it's, when we're looking at it, got these little weird, okay, I am done being a perfectionist right now. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to add uh, armature and we're gonna do a single bone. Um, one thing you'll learn from me is I'm not very good with the shortcuts. So a lot of you that are good with Blender are going to be yelling at me right now. Um, and that's okay with me. So what we're going to want to do, let's do this. Definitely going to want to... Is this going to be our hip bone? which let's turn it i believe red is going to be the side to side all right so we'll go to edit mode and let's start making a skeleton so we get our
And once again, we're going to make this kind of simple. We'll get rid of two head bones just so that we have the option of adding the ear bones so we can animate those. I'm probably making that more complicated than I need to. And we got our different parts to the body. All right, so the next thing we're going to want to do, and I will fast forward through this, but we are going to start naming bones. So let's start with hip. Hip hop, hooray, ho, hey, oops, hip. All right, and I'll be back here in a second after I name all these. All right, so now that we have um, all of our uh, bones in there, uh, next thing we're gonna wanna do is just weight it. So we're gonna do, we're gonna grab, um, oh, we need to be in object mode. We're going to highlight the enhanced image, uh, control click armature. So you wanna make sure that the um, image is selected first and then the armature. And then we're gonna do control P uh, with automatic weights. So now we'll go into, let's go into pose mode and just kind of, oops. Got a little bit there. So let's, obviously the weights aren't going to be perfect. That's not bad. And you know what? I'm okay with that. The arm lifting up and then it's then it's uh, affecting the armpit just a little bit. I think I'm okay with that. This is good here. This will allow us to have her put her hands on her hips. Now, when I first started doing this stuff where I was really erroring was that I was doing poses just like this from that get-go. Um, and that obviously doesn't work very well uh, because there's no separation in the mesh and it just doesn't work that well. So having more of a T-pose type really helps. Uh, another thing too is, um, you know, if you wanna make this just a little sexier, you might be tempted to put bones in the breasts. Um, you can do that. Uh, I found that using shape keys does a much better job of that. Uh, we can even take and, ooh. and move her feet like that so they're kind of out um you can make you know we can you know you got to be careful because since this is a 2d image uh you have to you you can't go too crazy uh with how much um you move things in the uh z you know in the the Z direction, uh, which when I say Z too, I'm talking about like what everybody else is uses for Z, Unity, Daz, stuff like that. I don't know. Can anybody explain to me why um, Blender uses different X, Y, and Z uh, or, or switches Y and Z in their um, dimensions compared to what other places, other things do? Because I always, I, sometimes I forget to, when I export things to set that right, when it would just be easier if everybody was uniform. But anyways, let's uh, let's create a quick, and we're in pose, so we'll just do this. Uh, let's, should we do just like a slight, kind of a slight idle. Have this go to there. What we'll do is we'll have her hand 
We don't want this hand to stay on her hip. So we'll see what works best. And another thing I'd say is, you know, obviously I'm going to do some things that aren't necessarily the best way to do them. If you have any uh, feedback for me on ways I can make things a little bit easier, that would be much appreciated. Let's, oh shoot, I don't want to, oh, that's right. It's because I, let's. Make things easier. Let's the hand there. So her hand is kind of on her hip, but then Eh, not the biggest fan of her hand moving on the left side, but that's now what this, this tutorial is not about that. Um, it's not about perfection. I'm not that great of an animator. Um, but hopefully if somebody has kind of a thought of using, a, you know, images to animate, this might give you some, a little bit of, um, a little bit of, I, or a few ideas on what you can do. A little inspiration. Okay. That hand is going to bother me. Ah, let's do this. See, if we look at her hand is, let's see where it's lining up. So I need to, I need to have. Hmm. I think it's going to have to be in the collar to move it up and maybe. Oops. All right, so the last thing I got is basically just taking the armature and hiding it. And we just got kind of a simple little idle animation. All right, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you have any advice for me, I am fairly new to Blender, probably only about six months in. So there's a lot of things I still need to learn. Um, but I'm really, I'm really enjoying the 2D animation aspects and the opportunities to be able to use that. Uh, so I'd like to learn more. So if you have any um, advice for me, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. And uh, everybody have a great day.